got my second Pfizer dose. So I gave him to a little nasty gal package. You guys know where we're going. He still doesn't know. Lego man. <laughs> you got the trifecta on that one. Yeah. Boobs are just. Yeah, mine, mine are pretty. There's a lot of room in there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this week's vlog. So I have had a busy morning, got up and worked. I'm so excited. I finally picked up my monitor for my office yesterday since we now have the dining room table. I can fit my monitor and it's just made work so much better and so much more efficient. Afterwards, I went and I got some Phil's coffee and it's so weird. This is the first time I've ever ordered ice from them and I didn't know that they just leave it in the same cup. So I almost like told them that they made my order wrong because I assumed that it was hot, but then I actually grabbed the cup and I was like, oh, this is ice cold. That's like so strange that you put your iced coffees in one of these, you know? Because if you guys remember last time I went to go get fills, I was talking about how I had never tried the coffee that I get iced from them. I always get the, this is my order right here, the Jacob's Wonder Bar. I get medium cream and medium sugar in it. And I always get it hot. And last time I went to go get fills, it was really hot that day. So I was like wishing that I had gotten it iced. And so I tried it this time and it's okay. Honestly, I think it's a lot better hot. So from here on out, I'm definitely gonna stick with hot, but I mean, I don't regret it. You know, it was great to try, but now I know. Anyways, I'm trying to get out of this parking lot. You guys can let me through, thank you, thank you all. But the other big thing that I just did, which you guys saw, but I got my second Pfizer dose. So I'm not working out today. I'm not gonna do what I did last time. I am gonna rest because also I have like a jam packed weekend. So I'm gonna try to rest today. I know that like the second dose, most people say is where they like feel symptoms more likely with Moderna than with Pfizer. So hopefully I won't be too bad, but just because I felt so exhausted after the first shot, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to take it easy. Then like waving my arm around, trying to like dissipate it. But yeah, I, we just have like a big weekend and I'm hoping that I don't get hit with any like flu-like symptoms. If I'm tired and exhausted, it's fine. I will power through. I just don't wanna be hit with any actual like sickness symptoms. And I'm hoping it won't be any worse than the first time because if you guys remember the first time, not only did I work out right afterwards and it was an intense leg day, I was actually coming off of a cold. 
felt. I still was congested and stuff, so I think that that exacerbated it. But this time I am totally 100% healthy, no colds, nothing. I'm gonna rest, so hopefully it won't be too bad because tomorrow Trevor and I are going on a little day date. I haven't told them where we're going, but you guys already saw in the title, we're going to the Carlsbad Strawberry Fields because I wanna do like a strawberry picking date. And he's been trying to like figure out where we're going. He knows that we're going to Carlsbad, but he doesn't know exactly what we're doing. And he was like looking up stuff online yesterday. And he was picking like the most random things. He did see that there are flower fields. So he's assuming that we're going to the flower fields, but I'm like, mm, close, we're going to a field, but you're at the wrong field. So that'll be a lot of fun. Obviously, I'll take you guys along on that. And I am at Del and Arrow again. Um, since I'm in the area, I figured I'd pick up some cookies for us and surprise Trevor when he gets home. But yeah, I'm really excited about the strawberry fields. We've been trying to go for a few weeks, but since, oh God, it's so dark. But since Trevor works weekends and stuff, it just wasn't gonna happen. But now that his schedule's slowing down, he has this whole entire weekend off, we're gonna go tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm shooting with Michelle. We're gonna shoot in Dana Point for the very first time. But anyways, I'm gonna go grab these cookies and then we'll head back home. All right, and I also meant to show you guys. So I also stopped at Trader Joe's. And I am obsessed with these. You guys have to try them if you guys have a pair of those by you. These are the fruity gummy candies. I think these are new for spring. And this pack in particular, you have to look for this one, is so good. Every flavor on it is delicious. It's got pineapple, mango, grapefruit, watermelon, and blueberry, which is perfect. I will eat all of those. I'm not like a huge fan of citrus gummies so i never eat them even like in gummy bear packs and everything i just give the orange and lemon to trevor but this pack is like every single flavor is fire i will eat it in one sitting it's so good so i actually got two of these but just wanted to let you know in case you guys are headed to trader joe's after watching this vlog for any reason try to pick these up hi <laughs> hello are you gonna help me so I came home to a little nasty gal package and I thought I'd go ahead and do a little try on. I was not expecting this to come in today. I actually never even got tracking for this. I kind of forgot about this order in fact because it's just like two things. I was gonna rope it into a larger haul, but since it's just these two things from Nasty Gal, I just figured let's do it on the vlog. The first item that I got is this like corset thing. It's like a white lace corset and this is for vegas which we're going in three weeks oh my gosh <laughs> i feel like we've been planning this vegas trip for like a year it hasn't been a year it's maybe been since like february but still it feels like we've been planning it for forever and it's like finally almost here but how cute is this actually let me go ahead and i'll do a full try on haul for you guys okay i got a medium but i probably should have gotten a large because my boobs are like pancaked down i just you know my girls need room, so <laughs> wish I had known that. But I mean, like through here and stuff, it's fine. It's just in the boob area, which is like making the back a little tight, but it's not like terrible. I mean, obviously I could zip it up. I'm fine, like I'm comfortable. I can move around and stuff, but I would have liked a tad bit more room, but it's not so bad that I need to return it and exchange it. So I can totally live with this, but how cute is this? I love this. I'm actually thinking of pairing it some of the lace does not stay up but i'm actually thinking of pairing it with a pair of like they're like pinstripe shorts you guys have seen them before they're like blue pinstripe shorts sorry my arm is starting to get a little sore so i'm just trying to like move it around yeah i have like these long line pinstripe shorts that i think would be really really cute with this i mean honestly it's kind of cute with the joggers but i don't know like for what occasion this would be but still so cute i love it like I said, I just wish that I had some more room in the boob area, but I can live with it. And then the other thing that I got is actually a bikini. And this bikini, you guys, is so, so perfect for Hawaii. I can't remember what size I got. I think I got a six because size 12. Oh, US 8. Okay, perfect. I've mentioned it before. I like to size up in my swimsuits just to make sure, you know, everything's covered and I don't like end up with any rolls or anything. But this is a three piece set. It's kind of got this like tropical print. Why am I doing this? Let me try it on and I'll show you guys. So I 100% could have done the six because I have a little too much room now in the back here. Like, Nasty Owl is so 
confusing to me on how I should size the bottoms because sometimes the eights are too big and then sometimes they fit perfectly but then there's a lot of times where like I will get something in a size six in the bottoms and I can't even make it up past my thighs so I don't know like that's why you guys don't see me shop nasty gal a lot I feel like their sizing just for my body type tends to be off usually I think I'm pretty safe with swimsuits I mean honestly though this isn't terrible if I didn't point out the excess to you guys you probably wouldn't have even noticed it but it's such a pain in the ass to exchange with them and also i think they were sold out of the six which is why i also just went with the eight so i don't think i had a choice anyways but here is the bikini you guys can see it's kind of like this red and green tropical vibe i love string bikinis just because they're adjustable so you know you can make them as tight or as loose as you need to and these are actually truly designed to be high-rise bottoms hello hip dips we love them that's not me being sarcastic. Love your body. But I really love this. I think that this is so perfect for Hawaii. I can't wait to wear it in a couple months when we go. This is not a Vegas bikini. This is for sure a Hawaii bikini. And this also, I love the fact that a lot of brands are doing this. This came with a little sarong. Like there's so many bikinis that are being sold in three piece sets right now. And I am living for it because I think the matching sarong is so so freaking cute can we talk about this how freaking cute like i look like i should be on a hawaiian beach right now with the palm trees the blue water white sand you know like just take me to hawaii now i'm ready in this outfit plop me on a plane i am good to go but so cute with this wrong i think it's perfect and then it's like great to have the matching one that you like keep with you all the time because i know personally i'm most self-conscious in a bikini when i walk because you know we got some wiggles but that's okay it's natural but if you are a little bit insecure about that just throw over the matching sarong and it doesn't look like you're trying to hide anything it just looks like you've put the outfit completely together you know like cute i love this i don't want to get out of this i just wanted to kind of like wear this around the house but i need to go start up on my hair which i'll show you guys in a second we're gonna do like the full olaplex system which i'll show you guys in a second let me just change out of this okay so i need to wash my hair because i'm gonna film a few videos today i'm hoping to get like three or four done more than likely it'll at least be like two and a half because there's one video that's gonna take me days to film it's gonna take me so long oh my god but it's a task that absolutely needs to get done and I just figured I'd go ahead and turn it into a video. But for right now, I need to get put together for the other videos. So in case you guys missed it, I just reviewed the Olaplex number eight. This is the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. This is really, really good. But in that video, I used it on its own just because I wanted to see how it was by itself. But truthfully, Olaplex actually recommends to use it with the number three. This is the Hair Perfector. And this is a pre-wash treatment. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my hair. I've used this before. I really, really like this on its own, but I'm very curious to see how they are together. My hairdresser like always tells me all the time, make sure that you are using Olaplex. So I like to listen to the professional when she says to do that. So I'm just gonna put this in. You leave this in for a minimum of 30 minutes. I'm probably gonna do an hour because there's a video that I wanna watch. It's about an hour. So I think that that would be good enough time for this. And you can actually even leave it in overnight, but you know, wear like a cap so you don't get it on your sheets or anything. But yeah, this stuff is super good. It strengthens your hair so much. So just to start out, I'm just gonna brush out my hair. I'm just gonna take a bunch and I only really use this on half of my hair length so I'm just gonna basically use it for the parts that are bleached and then obviously all the way through the front but really concentrating it on like the mid hair through the ends sorry I'm standing on my tippy toes so that you guys could see because I'm short but you guys get the idea and this seems like you're using a lot each time but I've noticed this stuff actually stretches quite a bit there's a lot in the container like it's a lot more than meets the eye so it's actually not a bad value I think it's like 30 bucks for this and I do this I'd say like every other week every three weeks at least once a month just because I don't wash my hair super often I just wash my hair about once a week I don't do this every time I wash just like every few times I wash and just make sure that it's like nice and saturated all the way through the hardest part is always like the middle of your hair because like you get the top and you get the bottom but it's like the middle you have to like separate the hair to really get to it i think that's it that's all we really need to do 
It's kind of hard to tell sometimes with this because it does dry. So I'm just trying to figure out what actually has product on it. But okay, I think we're good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my hair up. If you wanna be an overachiever, you can put a cap on top because like the heat from your head will help activate it and stuff. But I don't have one right now. So I'm just gonna put my hair up. I like to use one of these like plastic hair ties, the little spiral ones, whenever I'm working with a mask or any type of leave-in treatment just so that I'm not using like a cloth one where the product's gonna like seep into the cloth or anything but yeah okay cool so we'll leave it in for about an hour and then later I'm gonna shower and I'll use the mask again and we'll see if it's like even better <laughs> So I'm drinking a liquid IV. Mm, the guava flavor is so good. Anyways, drinking a liquid IV because they reminded us at the vaccine appointment to stay hydrated. Apparently it's supposed to help with symptoms and stuff. So I'm just trying to get as hydrated as possible. But I love these anytime I need to be extra hydrated, like during or after I work out, or you know, when I've been having a really fun night. If I've had a few drinks, I always drink one of these before bed and it helps out immensely. And then if I need to, I drink another one after I get up the next morning. So these are just all around good to have. And actually they sent me a refill pack, which was perfect timing because I'm gonna include them in the goodie bags for Trevor's birthday in Vegas. But if you guys wanna check these out, I do have a discount code for 25% off plus free shipping. It's a really good deal. I'll have it linked in the description down below. I always have all of my discount codes for anything I have active in the description. So make sure to check those out. I have discount codes for really good brands like Coco and Eve, Good Molecules, Versed, just a ton of really good things down there. So make sure to read through there in case you guys like need to restock on anything. I'm also feeling just like a little bit sluggish and starting to get a touch nauseous, but I think that's because I haven't eaten yet. Plus I just got the vaccine. So that probably does not help the situation. So I stopped by my gym because I had to pick something up in the last vlog when I saw us go out to the bar. I left my jacket at the bar and they were nice enough and got it for me. So I went to go pick that up. While I was there, I went ahead and I got a refill on my favorite protein. This is Dot Fit. This is the pre and post workout one in chocolate. You guys can get this through UFC Gym or I think through Dot Fit directly if you guys are not a part of UFC Gym. But this flavor, I've been raving about this on my channel literally since I started this channel. I love this. This is the best protein ever it doesn't taste like protein it's so good i love this in my smoothies i literally will not make a smoothie if i don't have this this is required for my smoothies but i'm just gonna make the classic one you guys have seen me make so many times if you've been here for a while why is everything so sealed today <laughs> oh my god it smells so good it literally smells like a chocolate shake the only problem with this is now i have to find the scooper just hope me. my hands are clean I'm, I was hoping it was towards the surface it's not <laughs> there it is okay that wasn't too bad but there we go so for my smoothies I have some frozen spinach I just make them really simple and then birds and berries just like a mixed berry blend and the smoothie is amazing literally that's it and then some water do I have any collagen I think I do I might as well add that in if I do just the pantry. Okay, yes. And then I'll do some collagen. Might as well. Doesn't hurt. So I don't use ice in my smoothies. I feel like the frozen berries are enough. Bringing us down here. It's a mess down here, so I apologize. But now I'm gonna start out with berries. Gonna fill this pot. Then just some spinach. Hopefully the blender can get that. And then just a scoop of my protein. So I'll do two scoops actually, since this is essentially my brunch. Then I have the Vital Proteins Collagen. One, two. Just fill it up. Probably did too much water, but that's fine. My old coach was the one who actually 
got me onto doing water and just frozen fruits and not adding things like milk and stuff just because at the time I was trying to cut weight down to potentially fight. It was one of those things of like, let's make the smoothie as filling as possible without adding in unnecessary calories. So just because of that, I've gotten really used to doing water and no milk or anything in my smoothies. Whenever I have smoothies that have like a ton of extra stuff in it it just feels like too much so this is like my favorite smoothie it's like literally the only one that i make and so Beautiful. Yeah, I did a little bit too much water, but it'll be fine. So I'm bummed. I wanted to watch a video. Julia has like a massive, like almost hour long haul that went up yesterday, but I'm getting slammed with work right now. I was out for like an hour-ish to get my vaccine and run all of those errands. But now that I'm back, people are asking me to do so many things. But if you guys didn't notice, I finally picked up my monitor I had to go into the office they asked a bunch of us to come in and just kind of like tidy up the desks because we all thought that we were going to be back within a couple of weeks but when I went in I decided to go ahead and ask for a monitor we've always been allowed to take them I just never did because we didn't have anywhere to put it but now that we have the dining room table it's been really really nice having a monitor again it just makes working so much more efficient so I'm going to keep working for a little bit and then I'll check in with you guys later when I go to wash out my hair I feel like my day's so crunch since I want to film so many videos, but we'll get it done. So I was about to start on my closet declutter video, which will be coming in a couple weeks because it's going to take me multiple days to film. But, oh, I'm out of breath. There was a knock on the door and we got a new Amazon package in that I go ahead and unbox it for you guys because actually one of the things is for Spark. So we'll try it out here on the vlog. All right, so the first thing that I got is not for Spark. This is a purse organizer for my bag. I got the Louis Vuitton No Way, in case you're new. I just got it not that long ago. It was the Petite No Way. And I originally wasn't gonna do an organizer for it, but it's just getting harder and harder to find things. So I gave in and I got this one off of Amazon. It was only $12, $13, so not too bad. But it's got like a ton of compartments and stuff. I'm just losing things like my card holder and my cell phone in my purse. So that's really, the only compartments I need, I couldn't find anything on Amazon at least that had less compartments, but this is fine. I can live. I'm not mad. So let me just make sure it fits. And I will be doing like a what's in my bag coming up. It'll probably be in a few weeks from now just because I already am filming a ton of other things. And I also just didn't want to overwhelm you guys with all the Louis Vuitton videos. I felt like it was just going to be overkill if it was like a Louis Vuitton video every single week. So I'm trying to spread those out a little bit, but let's just make sure that this works for the size. I measured it out and it should, yeah, okay. Perfect, oh my God, that fits so perfectly and it helps it keep its shape. Oh, I love this, this was so good. If you guys have a no way, I will link the one that I got below because wow, look at that, like look at the shape even, it like totally helps save it a little bit. Perfect fit, I'm so excited. Anyways, for Sparafart, he's right here by the way, that's why I'm like teasing him. I got him a new little puzzle and this one's a little bit harder than the one from before. Oh my God, there's so many pieces. You can't swallow any of these, sir. Luckily, he's actually really good. He doesn't swallow any plastic. He's always been really good about that. It's like these little bars he'll have to move around. I'm sure he'll end up ripping these out because he is a destroyer of toys, but you can put these little covers on top and then he has to like slide to get the treats and then slide to, whoops, oh my gosh. And slide to get those ones up there and then he has to get like the tops off and stuff. So let's go ahead and put this together for him because I'm very interested to see if he's smart enough to get this. You're not the brightest sometimes. I don't mean to insult you. I'm not trying to insult you. You just know you're not the brightest at times. Stop giving that face. <laughs> so I'm going to do a mix of a few different treats in here. So I'm going to break up some of this begging strip. Oh shoot. I got to get this like really small to fit in here. 
do it in like multiple pieces. Hey you, you are gonna enjoy this. Maybe you might get super frustrated by it. Which I can definitely see that happening. He's getting really impatient. And the trainers that we've been interviewing all say that like giving him these puzzles is actually really good. This is like a really good step that we took for his anxiety just because it keeps his mind active and, and kind of gives him like a task. So I've been trying to get more of these. Okay, and then some of these in here. I know, I know, I'm, I'm trying to hurry. I know you're so impatient. Sir? It's very rude that you are being demanding. Are you gonna be able to get this? Okay, so that's what it looks like all together. Let's see how he does. You gotta find it all. You gotta do it, you gotta find it. Why are you giving up? Go get it. Come on, see, look, look. You gotta pop it off. You gotta pop it off. Pop it off, come on. Look, you already got one up. See them? <laughs> Is this too hard for you? This was a beginner puzzle. There you go, good boy. Come on, you got it. You got it. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh, you're not a dumbass like we tell you you are. Come on, you got it. Yeah, he literally picked it up and carried it over. Don't mind the stuff, the nasty gal stuff that I showed you guys earlier, but he literally just bit it and picked it up and dragged it over here. I think it was sliding too much on the linoleum. No, don't pull those out. Oh, God. But he did get all three of the round pieces off, so now he just needs to get through all these like yellow things. Here, really? Slide it, buddy. He's a destroyer. He is a textbook destroyer. He gets into trash and stuff, so this doesn't <laughs> surprise me. Oh my God. You are so funny. <laughs> Should I help him with that? I feel like, here, here, here. He, luckily he doesn't resource guard. Look, buddy, look, 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 look. Oh, now, now that I've opened up the other side. God. Well, you just closed it. I helped you out. But yeah, luckily he doesn't resource guard. Like, he knows there's food in here, but he's not, like, mad that I'm touching it and stuff. <gasps> Did you get it? Look at that! Good boy! <laughs> Alright, I'm sure you guys are tired of this. But it's probably, I mean, I took a little break, but it's probably been about... <laughs> but yeah, it's probably been about seven minutes or so with this toy. So this will definitely entertain him for, like, 10 to 15 minutes. So this was definitely a good investment unless he breaks it all within like one sitting. <laughs>
guys know where we're going. He still doesn't know. Lego Man. <laughs> I didn't even know that Lego Land was in Carlsbad, so. Lego Land. That still continues to be his guess. Is that really your guess? <laughs> no. Where do you think we're going? See tulips. Do you want me to tell you or do you no, want to be surprised? I want to be surprised. Okay. <laughs> I think we're seeing tulips. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Which I wouldn't mind, don't get me wrong. <laughs> kind of cooler than Lego and. Unfortunately, it's gonna take us a little longer than it was supposed to, but that still leaves us like a couple of hours there. What? It is, huh? Yeah, because we had to go later because you had to sleep in. Yeah. He wasn't feeling that great this morning. It's okay. When we get there, you'll be so excited. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, you'll be so excited <laughs> that you'll be fine. Um, 99.9% .9 sure I'll be very excited. <laughs> I can tell you, you haven't guessed it. What? Yeah. There's nothing to do in Carlsbad <laughs> but look at tulips and Legoland. <laughs> I scour the internet for things in Carlsbad. You didn't scour well enough. That's why what? what? I said you didn't scour well enough. I feel like this thing would have popped up had you actually taken uh, a decent No, one. it didn't. I saw you go on Google Maps once and you looked at it. You didn't even fully zoom into Google I Maps. scoured. <laughs> he spent two minutes looking at Google Maps. That's a scour. That's not scouring. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I see what you're taking me to. What? Traffic. Yes. Well, the traffic wouldn't have been here if we had left at you know, 11 or 12. No, it would have been more traffic. No, it would have been walking to Carlsbad. No. I don't think I've ever been in Carlsbad. You've definitely passed through it. Anytime I'm you've saying gone to passed through it. I've never been go. in it, like hanging out and going, what's up Carlsbad? Never been there. I think I've stopped off with, oh, I did my um, Hooters photo shoot there. Oh. Yeah, that was a good time. But that, I think it's the only time I've actually like legit stopped off in Carlsbad. Hooters girl. Yes. Hooters, Hooters, Hooters. <laughs> And Tilted Kill. Yes. Fuck that place. Just didn't do Twin Peaks. I could have had like I would have been the stoked. triumphant. <laughs> there isn't one around here. Vegas. Sure, I was going to commute daily to Twin Peaks and Vegas for work. Let's be honest. You would have stayed there a couple of nights, done your job, come home. I would have gotten the bed to myself. Oh my God, that would have been amazing. <laughs> and Spartacus. Oh, oh. And we're stopped. It's a nice job in the Audi to cut everybody off. I know, right? How rude. Die. Sorry. I mean, luckily, we get to use the carpool lane, but it's not helping us out a ton. You mean the thing that's ending in 500 feet? No, it, goes, it just goes down to one lane. <clears throat> You're one lane. Okay. I don't even know what that means. I don't know. I'm better than that. Who are you? I'm dancing on moonlight Of all the stars at night None of them can shine As bright as you do They can't compare to your light <laughs> Strawberry company. We're gonna go strawberry picking. What? <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> yes. Like this huge. That's awesome, babe. <laughs> this idea. I think I saw this on TikTok or something. Like I've always like known about it, but I always forget about it. I get the pigs. <laughs> Do we get to eat them? Yeah. Yeah. It's like we get a bucket, pick as many as you want, take it home. All right, you ready to go strawberry picking? Yes. 
<laughs> I want a big one and a big one. So it's kind of windy. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but there's the strawberry field. There's a sunflower maze over there and then all of the fields over here. So I can't believe you didn't see this one on the map. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited. We've never done anything like this before, so something new. All I ever really wanted was a couple of drinks. I didn't show up here looking for a fight. It's been three weeks since you called me I'm too hung up and I can't sleep But would you hear me out tonight? Cause I need nothing more than you No, I need nothing more than you I to come back home I to come back home And I should have seen it coming, should have put up a fight Cause laying without you, it don't feel right And 22 is no place to be When all your friends are drunk and we can't grow up So I messed up And it's gotten me feeling that I need nothing more than you no, I need nothing more than you I to come back home I to come back home I to come back home Won't you come back home I need nothing more than you 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 I need nothing to come back home to come back home Oh, it's on? Yeah. It was good. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Shot a cannon. He really had no idea. <laughs> like, not even close. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'm going to have a little. Yeah, oh, I did. got the squid thing still on there. It's not a squid. Oh, my God. I know more about Filipino, Filipino culture you than you. You can't even say the word. You can't even speak the language. Yes, I can. You a know, thank you. Un poquito. <laughs> Just Spanish. <laughs> but yeah, that was a lot of fun. We shot a cannon. Yeah, so I for sure knew about the sunflower maze and the strawberry picking, which was the main event. The strawberries we got, oh, they look so good. They smell so good. We got there and I saw the apple cannons, which they didn't have on the website. I guess it's probably like fairly new. So we did that. That was a lot of fun. And then they had like a Filipino food booth. Lumpia. So. <laughs> If you don't know, I'm Filipino. So, stopped and we got some food. Trevor kept thinking pancit, which is noodles, was squid. Tentacles. Even though it 100% looks like noodles. It looked like tentacles. It's glass noodles. It looks like noodles, Trevor. It looked like tentacles. Oh my god, it looked exactly like noodles. Tomato, tomato. <sighs> and the sunflower maze, we survived. <laughs> Obviously. The sunflowers were really pretty. There's so many bees in them. And they didn't even bother us. Yeah, I know, because they had a lot of sunflowers to tend to. 
It's Sunday and I am back in the car now. I am heading out to go shoot with Michelle. We kind of had like back-to-back -back weekends, but we're shooting on a Sunday this time. And I'm actually essentially like basically headed down the exact same route that we took yesterday, but definitely not quite as far. We're shooting in Dana Point, which is gonna be a new location for us. So we're excited about this. And you guys, this Zaffle dress is like, scaring the shit out of me because my nipple keeps popping out <laughs> it's like the dress itself fits really beautifully like I'm so happy with it that I originally was gonna put a jacket over it but I'm just gonna shoot it by itself I threw on a hat instead I have it in the back so yeah the dress fits flawlessly but on my boobs like literally the bottom of my boob is here it doesn't fit in the cut because my boobs are bigger and this is manufactured in China and they tend not to leave a lot of room for the girls so a lot of the times I have to size up in stuff from China I just stay true to size on this and like I said it fits fine initially but when I first tried it on I was like oh my god this is great it fits great but now that I'm like actually moving around and stuff I have noticed that I am spilling out a little bit so I'm a little self-conscious about this I thought that this was a dress that I could wear for Father's Day it is not <laughs> so I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna wear for Father's Day but that's not for like a few weeks but still but anyways we are so excited about Dana Point we're actually shooting at two different locations at Dana Point I saw on TikTok the Dana Point arches which just look so freaking beautiful so we're gonna start there and then we're also gonna shoot in the marina and the marina is just right below Trevor and my wedding venue and since Michelle didn't get to go we're gonna go upstairs and explore it but I'm running slightly behind like 10 minutes behind which isn't the worst thing I just like I feel like I'm gonna flash someone I know it I'm gonna end up flashing someone all right I finally made it I made like a wrong turn and I was like whoa oh my god <laughs> <gasps> just twinning in our first outfit except for i am like about to spill out of this oh, so. if i wore that then you should turn on me <laughs> i'm like i have to go for mini dresses like the length is fine it yeah. fits no it fits great. really perfectly but like the boobs are just yeah mine mine are pretty there's a lot of room in there <laughs> <laughs> Should we switch dresses? <laughs> we We're in Dana Point now. As you can see, it's stunning here. I love Dana Point. Dana Point over Laguna Beach any day. Honestly, though. So fucking beautiful. I have a hat that's about to like fly out of my head. But, ugh. So pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now we're looking for the arches, which kind of reminds me of Monica. God, we could do like a whole lookbook. Yeah, like I have been to Monte Carlo, so I lucky can't I sit have even. not. Yeah. My prom was over there. My um, junior prom, the Ocean Institute, oh. right over there. It was so much fun. And then Trevor and I actually took our wedding pictures on that jetty right next to it. Oh. Yeah. So those are the pictures that you saw in our wedding book, where we're like right by the ocean. Oh. It's just Trevor and I. Yeah, that's where we took it. So. So that's how close we are to the venue. The venue's like down this street. Yeah. But. Ugh. Pick a boat. <laughs> right? <laughs> just, just, we'll pick our boat for the day yeah. and we'll be on our way. Are living like right here? Oh my god. It must be so expensive. But yeah, just like a quick little Stop. preview of the view. It's just it's so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> we gotta take your first shot. Let's take a second on the good lens. Grab a shot here. I just want to live right here. I know. Oh my god. Alright, so here are the arches that we're going to shoot our first looks at. I can't go over. Wait, what? Oh, Darn. that's fine. I saw people, like, I've seen people post pictures of themselves here and, like, they got some great shots. Yeah, so. this is actually really pretty. Yeah, like, right here. I mean, look at this. Man, I really want to get right there. There's shoe marks. Oh, how did people do this? They probably hopped this. Oh, for sure. Honestly, like and we. Stay we, outside we behind. Huh? Yeah, and we are in dresses, so that's a no go. I mean, if you want to hop it, you can. I'll take your picture from right here, but like, my dress is way too short. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to touch you down. <laughs> okay, wow, well, we are really zoomed in because we're on the other lens. <laughs> like, 
Hi, this is my face. But we're changing locations now. We just finished at the Arches, which is so freaking pretty. It was just like kind of hard because like there's, it's technically a trail and there were a lot of people like walking. So we had to keep stopping, but it wasn't like so terrible. It was just one of those like we felt like we were in people's way. So we only did one look there, but now we're just moving locations. So here's our wedding venue right here. I don't know if I'm even showing it to you guys because I can't see, but it's with the place with the orange tops. But we're doing street parking and then we're gonna go shoot either like in the marina or just like around here because like the whole area is just really, really beautiful. Joe and I are at the wedding venue. Yes. We've decided we're gonna go grab a drink because I think we deserve it. Yeah, we've had like essentially to hike all day. Yeah. A lot of up and down, so. It's, it's like a good location, but also like it's in a difficult location. Yeah, exactly. But like worth it, because it's so beautiful. So beautiful. But yeah, here's the, we got married out on this lawn. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a great time. But um, right now it's time to get a fucking drink. <laughs> yeah. like to call this look I've given up and I'm done shooting this is it, this this is it. I'm done <laughs> done we had our drinks yeah Michelle's gonna shoot this little comfy number yeah then we're calling it, calling it. and we're gonna go get some real food yeah I'm so excited I love that we're eating again <laughs> <laughs> I really wish today was like no. Saturday and then yeah. we were on vacation because I would really love to like drink four more daiquiris we could do a staycation here that's what I'm saying. Maybe we yeah. should do that. Maybe we should see if there's a cute little Airbnb yeah. around here. Ooh, that would yeah. be so much fun. Because obviously the hotels around here are going to be really pricey. Yeah. Because it's so. beachside. Yeah. So, and things are opening up again. So mm -hmm. I feel like they're going to make up for that lost time. So maybe there's like a cute little Airbnb like right up there, you know? Total Airbnb. That'd be fun. I would love to stay down here for like a weekend. Yeah. So clear. You arrested my So it's later and I'm back home and I just wanted to sign off this vlog just because I realized I forgot to kind of follow up on the Pfizer vaccine. We were just like in such a rush on Saturday that I didn't, I don't think I even talked to you guys about like how I was feeling on the second day after my vaccine. So basically this time actually went a lot better. I'm sure you guys can tell. I didn't get hit with that exhaustion that I got hit with on the first round, but my arm did hurt a lot. Like I couldn't raise my arm. It wasn't any worse than the first time. It probably hurt exactly as much as the first time. It did the same thing as before where it crept up into my neck and the side of my neck was hurting, but that was literally the only symptom that I felt this time around. So I'm really glad that it didn't slow me down this weekend because as you guys just saw it was a packed weekend and definitely a lot of fun but I am now exhausted I'm so tired I need to upload all of these clips so I'm gonna sign off here thank you guys for watching don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel like this video comment all of that stuff and I'll see you in my next one all those